ICMA is shining a light on professionals who are finding creative ways to make lasting impacts on the communities they serve. Joining us for today's member spotlight is Donna Gaydon, City Manager of Long Beach, New York, with more than 25 years of financial and operational management experience, spending the last 10 years acting as a turnaround specialist, helping numerous municipalities overcome significant fiscal challenges. Thanks for stopping by, Donna. Thank you for having me. I understand that you have spearheaded a massive financial restructuring of the city of Long Beach that resulted in the closing out of longstanding financial and legal issues, which actually managed to improve the city's credit rating, which is amazing. Can you tell us more about that initiative and its results? When I first got here, um, they, well, they hired me to come in uh, for six, uh, six to nine months. Uh, to help them do a balanced budget, a more realistic budget, because they had issues with budgeting um, and they had issues with borrowing money for payouts and then everyday expenses. Um, three weeks after I got here, we had COVID. Um, so the first thing I did was we had to deal with COVID, but we got the budget done. The financial situation here is that their fund balance and their general fund was only 284000 but their overall fund balance was a negative $6 million. So there were grants that were never closed out back from prior to 2012. We've been working on that. We just completed that so that we can um, move money from one fund to another where it needs to be to balance out the books. Also there with the budgeting, we had to get to a point where we could no longer borrow for the state, from the state or any, from any funds. So as we moved forward, I developed the team here in my executive team here in the city. In doing so, then we had to go out and hire O'Melveny and Myers. Um, O'Melveny is a top notch, what I'll say, bankruptcy legal firm. And then we hired a company called uh, M3. And M3 is also a turnaround specialist financial company because during all of this, we um, got the results of a lawsuit and it turned out to be $140 million to add on top of the debt that was already there. Um, so that was a very big challenge. As we have moved forward, of course, the, uh, the Moody's ratings are down. So as we move forward, we balance out the budget. Moody's saw that we were trying to go in a, a more positive direction. So they, instead of having a BAA3 uh, with a negative outlook, we ended up getting a BAA3 with a positive outlook. You also got to know that Long Beach was the number one most fiscally stressed city in the entire state of New York. That is not where you want to be on the number one list. Um, I can say proudly today we are not anymore on the list as being uh, significant, significant financial uh, stressed. We are actually susceptible, um, which is a big thing. Uh, we can now move forward the 284000 in the un in the unrestricted general fund is now a little over $3 million. And the overall general in the overall fund of the city is no longer six million; it's around thirty-six million. And of that thirty-six million, I would say twenty-four million approximately is in capital projects. So we took a hard look at everything. We knew we had to do some cutting, and we did some basic cutting by uh, starting a procurement team of people throughout or employees throughout the city where before you could purchase anything, it had to go before the team and the team de deemed whether it was necessary. And you'd be surprised. I will tell all the managers out there, you'll be surprised how people will cut back on their spending when they know that others are looking at it, especially others from other departments. So it was a long challenge. We ended up not having to pay the 140 million. And what I did forget to say is it was 140 million with about $1.1 million in interest per month. And so we ended up settling for $75 million. Um, we, just got we just got approval to issue the bond for that. So that's a win-win for the city. Um, we're turning the financials around. We have balanced budgets and th the city no longer borrows for their, for their payouts. So it's been a two-year process for somebody that was only supposed to be here for six to nine months. 
and how you tactfully navigated that financial peril in the city of Long Beach and curated a unique solution to yield results is a lesson that absolutely everyone in local government can add to their playbook. How can local government leaders tap into those more creative ways to go above and beyond the call of duty to make a more meaningful impact on the communities they serve? Um, I would say that the one, you need to look at ICMA. You need to look at your fellow members at ICMA and don't be afraid to go out and ask for others' opinions or other advice. Don't try to recreate or try to create a playbook. Make sure that playbook isn't out there and talk to others on how it, how it can be done. Um, I would say a lot of governments are struggling right now. And so I think that if the managers and even the um, councils were to reach out to other members to get advice on the best way to uh, address those issues. And, and don't be afraid. A lot of people don't like to hire outside consultants. Hire the best of the best. Because at the end of the day, the money that you have spent to help you get back on track is well worth it. Yes, and there are definitely no new problems out there. So using your network and the resources around you is, is it's so, so essential and, and a, amazing piece of advice for your fellow members. And how has your ICMA membership helped you? Oh, it helps me a lot. <laughs> um, I read the, yeah, I, I read the, uh, the briefing that comes through every day or every other day. And then I always go down to the bottom of the page where you can get these free, um, you know, free um, newsletters. Like one I just got was how to avoid burnout. So I'm, gonna sh I'm sharing that with my executive team because at some point, especially during these hard last couple of years, it's easy to be burnt out. So that will be in my, as I call it, my tool shed from now on. Um, and, and there's a lot of resources on the ICMA website that you can take advantage of. Donna, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to speak with me today. Your story and your passion for, for making a meaningful impact on the communities you serve is, is extremely inspiring. And we can all learn from you. Thank you very, very much for taking the time. Thank you very much as well. Have a great day. To view more member spotlights, subscribe to our channel.